Solstice is a 2022 game made by Reply Game Studios. It's a hack and slash game that is very similar to the Devil May Cry series. Actually, it feels like a love letter to this era of gaming. So does it live up to the grades of this kind of game? Yes and no. The story of Brer and Loot, the two main characters, is very intriguing. And the further you progress through the story, the more it becomes engaging. The other characters are just as mysterious and intriguing. My only complaint regarding the storytelling would be the fact that I have to press X after each line of dialogue during the in-game cutscenes. It may seem like a nitpick, but it can become annoying after a while. I don't know why it's like that since the regular cutscenes play out normally. And I won't lie, it kind of took me out of the immersion. The game plays solid, this is where the game shines for the most part. It plays exactly like the original Devil May Cry. The combat is most solid. The element of the combat that makes it unique is the blue and red magic. This affects enemies and also the platforming. Certain enemies require a certain type of magic to beat them. Also use magic to make platforms appear to either continue your quest or find secret places and get goodies. Unfortunately, while being a love letter, it also has some of the flaws. Like the camera for starters. Camera can be your worst enemy in this. Sometimes it makes the journey confusing because the stairs are hidden behind an object or a platform that is impossible to see. It's not game breaking, but it can be an annoyance from time to time. If I have to continue on the flaws, I would question the length of the game. I feel this could have been a few chapters shorter. At chapter 17 out of 24, I started to feel fatigued from playing this game. Maybe more balanced chapters would have helped. Some chapters are like 15 minutes, others are near an hour. So that could be a little bit more balanced in a sequel. And as much as I love the art style, I really dig the art style and mostly the character design. And some of the enemies remind me of a Tim Burton movie. However, can we have more color in the levels? The constant gray tones kind of made things less enjoyable in my opinion. At the end of the day, I enjoy myself with Solstice. I recommend this game. If you're a fan of the PS2 era hack and slash games, if not, maybe wait to try it out. I would give this a 7 out of 10.